morning friends I haven't done a vlog in ages but Toby and I are alone for the weekend so figured I would try to vlog I'm kind of in the middle of peeling from a chemical peel that I got on Tuesday did not think I was going to peel since I have recently introduced tretinoin to the skin but we did kind of go all the way with the chemical peel, so I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's just some very, very minimal flaking happening here along the uh, cheeks, kind of chin area, and the forehead here. Overall, I feel like the skin is doing just fine. I am using my PCA products, um, so I just did a, a water cleanse this morning. I'm going to go in with my hydrating serum. I don't know if I've ever talked really badly about this particular SPF, but I am really digging this right now. So even though this is not included in the kit, I uh, need this in my life, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> then I'll go in with the uh, hydrating serum here. One pump is definitely not enough since it's such a small kind of pump. So you usually take a lot like that. Toby and I are actually going on a walk right now. I'm going with Rebalancing Moisturizer. I'm also like having a pretty rough hormonal breakout. It's kind of healing right now, but it was pretty, pretty awful. I was breaking out all along here and here, and I still have a pretty large blemish here on this little guy. Now for the sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Am I running out already? What? I am. Oh my god. I'm applying. Since I am kind of still peeling, and even when I'm not, I still wear a hat. Two hour walks. And because I'm using the Pharmacy um, Honeymoon Glow Body Serum, I am applying a sunscreen to the body as well. It looks so good. I am loving the sunscreen. Uh, for the body, since this one is kind of pilling on my complexion, it just kind of depends what products I apply underneath. I am using this for body. So I'll apply I think the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body Serum is 12% acid or 20 12% acid. So have to protect the arms. Okie doke, and this is an old, old navy um, top that I just took the tag off and decided to wear today. And for lips, we'll do um, summer Fridays. So I don't think I'm going to take the camera to the park. So this is what my skin looks like post-morning routine. Just looks very hydrated, uh, luminous, and plump. Um, I don't see any more flaking skin. If you, you know, ever do get a chemical peel, uh, do not pick or pull at any loosening skin. Just, if you, if it is, if you are, you know, peeling like layers and layers and layers of skin, just take some very small scissors and kind of cut along the, you know, falling or shedding skin, but do not pick or pull. Otherwise, you are just going to cause more damage and that is not what we want. 
Um, so yeah, I will touch base with you all post-walk. Um, yesterday after our walk, I did come back and, and do a few more um, miles on the bike. And today I feel like I might just come back and do some some yoga because I feel like that's really helping my upper arm strength or my upper body strength. So I may just come back and do that. Let you know. See you guys in a bit. This is my post-workout hair. Post-dog walk hair. I'm wearing Dodgers hat. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try to do a 20 minute yoga now since my goal for, um, what is that? Like my iWatch goal for the month is like to burn 644 calories a day. Yesterday I didn't meet it, but July 1st I did. So we're gonna try to do that today. Then I'm going to perhaps go get a manicure. I'm sorry, a pedicure, not a manicure. I do my own manicures. Um, and then just perhaps film a little something since I did try to edit my um, July favorites video yesterday. And the audio was just horrible. So I might actually do that today and instead of like July favorites I'll name it something different but we'll just see where the day takes us today. It is after all Toby and Nancy's bachelor and bachelorette weekend. Um, I got that from Peter, Peter Juan. He does or he used to do PP and Peter's Bachelor Weekend. PP is no longer with us, which I cried, obviously. I cry when all dogs, even dogs that I follow like on Instagram, when they all like pass. So I remember we were at Ruben's studio and we went to like a local taco truck and the order was either misheard or someone just gave me like the wrong thing so i was already having a pretty rough day but one of the dogs i follow on instagram had to be put down then i literally just like we were leaving obviously and a friend was with us and i just walked to my car and started sobbing cried on my way home and when i got out of the car you know, I told Ruben what happened and, you know, he hugged me and like he understands how much I like dogs and I appreciate dogs and just animals in general. So, that's me. If I follow your dog or you and you have a dog and you lose said dog, I'm probably going to cry. Enough sad stuff. Uh, Toby turns five. Yeah, Toby turns five July 27th. So today's the third. Don't know what I'm gonna do for his birthday. I know it'll probably involve Krabby Patties. Just a little burrito. Okay, so I'm gonna do uh, yoga for 20 minutes. Good morning, friends. It is uh, July 4th. Um, the day that I am filming this. So I hope you guys are having a safe uh, 4th of July. I am going to, um, I don't normally have Sundays off since I've been back at work um, post-COVID. I've always had to work on Sundays anyway. The 4th falls on Sunday and we're closed on Sunday. So, so I get to enjoy a Sunday with Toby. It is still Toby and Nancy's Bachelor and Bachelorette weekend, so I get to enjoy a Sunday with Toby. He only gets walked uh, Friday and Saturday now that he's much older, um, but he gets an extra day off since mom can do it. So let's chat about my skin. My allergies are off the hook, so my eyes probably look a little red and puffy. 
they're a little itchy. So let's chat about my skin. So there is still just very, very minimal flaking here along the chin and some flaking here along the forehead. That really tight, glowy look that the skin had the first two days is now gone. So we're back to kind of like peely, flaky skin. I think um, Monday should be day six and then Tuesday is day seven. Until the skin stops kind of flaking, um, I'll go back to um, Sunday, um, sorry, Summer Fridays vitamin C, which has been my vitamin C of choice recently. I have emptied the Desi Gladocacy and I was so tempted to um, order a new one just because towards the end of using the actual unit, my skin just had an incredible glow. And I wanted to attribute it to like my diet change because around the end of the trial or the test, I mean, even after the, the test was over, my skin was just so luminous and glowy. So we'll see, I still have the bottle here. My morning skincare routine, these are like, I just did some laundry yesterday and this is kind of like the dog sleep room closet beauty space, sometimes filming room. I know the hydrating toner is not part of the kit, but my skin just craves that sometimes. Well, all the time. Do some hydrating serum. And I did do yes, uh, yoga yesterday after our walk. We did take the much longer route yesterday. And I did like yoga for like back and lower back and it felt really nice. I feel like today I might just do the upper body one. Maybe I'll show you guys which one I did. Rebalancing moisturizer. So I think I'm gonna upload this on or have this go up on Wednesday. I guess a little mini bonus video um i don't know how quiet it's going to be at the house today so i may film I may not because of that favorites video that i filmed and the audio was just it was really bothering me <laughs> i feel like my neck needs moisture this morning I have not been using my new face device because of the chemical peel. Don't want to overstimulate the skin. So I feel like I'm really noticing like some of that puffiness come back. Um, so I can't wait to start using that again. And sunscreen today. <laughs> Did you see that? I am like literally almost out. This is a great sunscreen if you're in the market for sunscreen. I really like it. It blends easily. Smooth. Gives the skin a very luminous kind of glow. And no white cast. And this blemish here like always comes and goes. And I am going to put some sunscreen here on my arms. I'm going to use this one by Peter Thomas Roth. I think I told you guys yesterday the reason why I use this on my arms. Sometimes it just pills, so I'd rather just use it on the body. And because I'm using the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body, I feel like my arms need some extra protection. And I have noticed that they've gotten a lot smoother. And granted, I think I've only been using it for like maybe a week fully or, or two now. Now for lips, I'm gonna use the Summer Fridays Little Lip Butter Balm. Oh, okay. 
No, that's my towel here. I do need to unbox a few things here, so I'll probably use this vlog for an unboxing as well because I haven't been too present on Instagram. I just haven't felt like I want to. And plus, they're making so many changes to the platform, so it's kind of, I don't know. Um, yeah, see you guys in a few seconds. So I just finished filming and I wanted to wrap this vlog up by sharing some new products that I have received here in the mail. This is not new to me since I uh, actually used this last year and I emptied her. I love this so much. Um, it is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Broad Spectrum SPF 44 Hyaluronic Cloud Moisturizer. Now, this is a chemical sunscreen and it has the most luminous finish. It is very, very hydrating and it's going to help target the signs of aging. It has a um, non-greasy cream to water invisible finish. Love it. It has tons of hyaluronic. I think it has like multiple different types of hyaluronic acid. Like this formula, love the packaging as well. Now I think this is a new item and this is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud mask. So glad I did not get the uh, Summer Fridays jet lag mask because I am going to be using this so much once I get back into uh, using my tretinoin, which I will go back to on Tuesday. So this contains hyaluronic acid complex. It's going to help provide 72 hours of hydration, refreshing it's going to nourish, soothe, and energize the skin. Aloe, caffeine. It's going to give you a hydrated, healthy, plump look to the skin with moisture. Now let's open her up. I am sweating and there's fireworks going on. So this is what the actual mask looks like. It's got a lovely blue tint to it. It's quite thick. And I think that Peter Thomas Roth makes some of the best masks out there. And look at that lovely, lovely texture. I can't wait to play with this. Hopefully I can get a video up on this soon. We are, uh, there's another Peter Thomas Roth product that I received in a mail, but I haven't yet tested, so I might do like a double treatment kind of video. I'm not sure. Now, this is a product by uh, Public Goods. Oh, wow. Did I open this the wrong way? <laughs> so they sent over an email and asked if I wanted to try their stuff out. I was given the option to pick what products I could try, which is amazing. I love it when brands do that. So uh, this is a membership-based store, I want to say, um, where the products are relatively inexpensive. So I'll be testing the quality. Uh, be sure to keep an eye out in a favorites video. This is paraben-free, vegan-friendly, sulfate-free, gluten-free, natural fragrance, cruelty-free body wash. I love just like the very basic packaging. Oh, I also got the shampoo. Same, paraben, vegan, sulfate, cruelty, free and gluten free. Should I get conditioner? I did. I also got the conditioner. Love how no products spilled conditioner. And what else is this? Lotion. Oh cool, I got a lotion. Very, love the very basic packaging here. I got a sea sponge for the body wash and I got a sunscreen. SPF 50, avobenzone, octosilate, and octocrylene. SPF 50. It's, it's a non-aerosol can, fragrance-free, reef-friendly, vegan-friendly, paraben-free, 
Um, I initially got this to use this all over the body, so I will definitely keep you all posted as far as how this performs. So thank you so much to Public Goods. I cannot wait to try these products. All right, someone is a pooped doggy. And I guess I do need to sweep a little. Our walk was really nice. We took uh, the extra long way today since we made it there before it started to get really, really warm. Toby did well. There are lots of little hippos at the park, but he was a good boy. He did very, very well this morning, right, baby? And be cool and cozy at home and be the goodest boy. After lunch, that is. And after some treats, yeah.